Throughout the Second World War, there were many prisoners who dreamed of trying to escape concentration camps to evade their imminent death and demise. Very few attempted to escape, as they knew that the likelihood was that they would be captured and immediately executed. The SS guards viewed escapees with disdain, and often whole barracks would be punished if someone fled the site. There were accounts of scores of executions being carried out in reprisal for one person being unaccounted for, or whole barracks were forced to stand in the freezing cold for hours until they returned, which would cause death and hypothermia. But there was one man who managed to escape Auschwitz, the deadliest concentration camp, with the incredible help of an SS guard, but shockingly he was executed for aiding others escape. Join us today as we look at the story of Victor Peshtek's actions in helping Siegfried Ladera escape from Auschwitz, and as always, to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Siegfried Ladera was a Jewish man who was born in the Sudetenland, the German-speaking part of Czechoslovakia, and following the German annexation of the area in 1938, he moved to Plzen, where he worked a number of jobs. He joined a communist group, and he helped many people who were living in hiding, and he helped to distribute banned propaganda. Siegfried was also a member of the resistance groups in the area, and he greatly opposed the Nazi occupation and persecution which was occurring. He was arrested a number of times, but was then quickly released by the Gestapo due to lack of evidence. However, for a third time he was then arrested and imprisoned inside the small fortress of Versinstadt, with other political prisoners. On the 18th of January 1942, he was transferred to the Jewish ghetto to await his transport, but the leader of the ghetto's fire brigade who was part of the resistance there heard about Ladera's actions before. This postponed his deportation as he was recruited into the fire brigade, but was then later sacked from this as he was caught smoking. This meant he could then be deported as he lost any protection he had, and he was sent to Auschwitz on the 18th of December 1943, and was forced to wear yellow and red triangles on his uniform, showing he was Jewish but also a political prisoner. But when arriving at Auschwitz, Jews who were transported from Thersienstadt were kept in a separate block of Auschwitz to Birkenau. They were not selected upon arrival immediately, and they were not subjected to the life and death decisions made by the evil guards in the SS, and with this were allowed to also keep their civilian clothes. They also did not have their heads shaved, and families could stay together. However, the Nazis planned to kill the groups of prisoners six months after they arrived. But one man who worked at the camp as an SS guard was Victor Peshtek, who was from a devout Catholic German family. He was a blacksmith and farmer, but then he joined the Waffen SS, as it's believed he was persuaded to do so by his mother. But as he served in the group, he was involved in anti-partisan missions in Belarus, and his unit attacked a village suspected of housing partisans. They were then ordered to kill the inhabitants of the village. But the partisans then attacked the Germans, and Peshtek was injured in the arm and leg, and he was broken up from his unit and he hid in a barn with another SS man who was wounded. This other man died from his injuries, and Peshtek somehow was spared despite the SS atrocities in the village. The kindness shown by those towards him in sparing his life led to Peshtek becoming conflicted about the Nazi policies, and he later claimed he was a killer, but a partisan spared my life. But as he lost the use of his hand, he was deemed unfit for service with the SS, and was then placed inside of Auschwitz to work as a guard there, and he was a Rottenführer and was considered a junior NCO. But Victor Peshtek was appointed the supervisor of Section B2D of Birkenau, and he was a guard who would trade with prisoners and exchange banned items for money. But he was also known for being a man who hated the mass killings that occurred there, and he hated many of the other SS members and the guards. But some SS men had during the camp's operation entered relations with Jewish women inside the First Instadt family camp, and they were attracted to the long hair that they kept. Victor Peshtek was one of these, and he fell in love with a Czech Jewish woman named René Newman, but she did not love him back. He arranged for her to have better treatment and offered to get her a job as a block clerk, but he also offered to disguise her as an SS woman and to help her escape. But René did not want to leave her mother at the camp, and Peshtek then decided against fleeing with her mother, as they did not have many links to the Czech underground who could have helped them evade capture until the Second World War came to an end. Six months after the Jews from the family camp had arrived, they were all gasped without a selection, which chose who would live and who would die but Peshtek managed to rescue Renee and her mother by moving them to a different block. But Siegfried Ladera then became a camp elder of Block 14, and Victor Peshtek, the SS guard, approached Ladera 
to ask him for help in sheltering Renee. Some others initially refused to help, believing it was a trick, as another SS man had offered to help shelter one of his Jewish childhood friends, but when a camp elder agreed to help, this man was then executed, and the SS man was given a cash bonus. Prisoners could not trust the guards at any point, but Peshtek said, I hate myself for having to watch women and children be killed. I want to do something to forget the smell of burning flesh and feel a little cleaner. But the SS guard eventually came into contact with Siegfried Ladera, and the pair planned their escape, and they would return to rescue René Newman. Ladera would leave in disguise as an SS man, and he would get back to Czechoslovakia, where they would get false papers, and then they would return impersonating SS officers, and present a false Gestapo warrant for Newman. With this, they would then be provided with a car and a driver, who would be shot en route to the Gestapo station. Following the dumping of the body, they would then get on a train back to Czechoslovakia. Viktor Peshtek stole an SS uniform, a pistol and paybook for Ladera and hid them, and then on the night of the 5th of April 1944, he left a bicycle by Ladera's barracks. This was a signal for him to come out, and the pair then dressed as SS guards would manage to bicycle out the front gate. They got on the train at the railway station outside of Auschwitz, heading to Prague. But the commandant of Auschwitz-Birkenau would then issue a telegram to the police to look out for Ladera, who was probably dressed as an SS Rottenfuhrer. Peshtek was now under suspicion for helping the escape, but they managed to get to Prague. The pair sold jewellery and brought civilian clothes. They then travelled to prison, where they hid with a former Czech army officer. The police were hunting for Ladera, but they were then given false papers, and a number of people helped him hide out. But shockingly, Siegfried Ladera would visit the Fersenstadt ghetto a number of times. He would go back and tell of the gassings at Auschwitz, and he told what he had witnessed. Many of the inmates of the ghetto already knew what a deportation to the camp would bring, but Ladera then managed to smuggle weapons and a radio transmitter out the camp. However, shockingly, Peshtek and Ladera would then return to Auschwitz. They returned and planned to rescue Renee Newman and her mother. But it's known that the SSM managed to arrest the SS guard Peshtek, and that Ladera escaped capture. It's not entirely known how he was captured, but Peshtek was handcuffed and brought into Auschwitz, where he was interrogated and then subject to horrific torture inside of Block 11, like so many prisoners were. Many of the SS guards set upon Peshtek and beat him badly, and some claimed he was caught by carpos around the woods in the camp. However, he gave his plans up to save Renee Newman and her mother, but he was sentenced to death in Katowice. Facing a firing squad for favouring inmates in desertion, he was brought into a small village where an SS firing squad shot through him, with the members of his former unit witnessing what had happened. Surprisingly, Renee Newman and her mother did manage to survive the war, possibly because of Victor Peshtek's actions. However, Siegfried Ladera tried to continue to spread information about Auschwitz and what was happening. But after his escape, he managed to link up with a partisan group, and he fought in the Slovak National Uprising. He continued to take part in other partisan resistance activities, and he managed to live out the war dying in Prague in 1972, at the age of 68. Viktor Peshtek was only one of a couple of guards at Auschwitz that risked his life to help prisoners escape and live. He was a man who quite clearly had become dissident to the Nazi cause, following the crimes he had seen, and also how he had been spared by others. Camp prisoners described him as a decent person, who never beat inmates, and said he was more humane than others. But along with Siegfried Ladera, the escape of the pair from the deadliest concentration camp of the Second World War was a captivating and brilliant story. However, tragically, it resulted in the execution of the SS guard Viktor Peshtek, but he gave his life to try and save others. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.